this is the cutest airport terminal I think I'll ever see. Like, look at all this art and stuff. That was super awesome signs and touristy pictures. Okay, guys, so this is my room. It's got a little bathroom. It's pretty cute. They had, like, little flowers and stuff set up. I'm a mess. My goodness. Um, and then... This is, like, the only place I could find a plug-in that wasn't being used by something important. So, I took the hairdryer out, and I have my computer charging. Got internet. That's great. Little, uh... Armoire, coat hanger, the bed's really nice. It's so hot here though. Um, anyway, I found the grocery store, so that was a successful venture. And I have definitely a tour booked for tomorrow. But the second day's tour may or may not happen so far. I'm not too happy for sure. But anyway, this is like the little place. Really cute. This is how quaint this little island is. This is the main road. I love it. Okay, I walked to the beach. My first official Moai. This is the one that I saw first. It's massive. Way bigger than the one at the museum. That's at least twice my height. And they're real official ones. This is so much fun. I'm not exactly sure where to hang out. But I'm gonna go walk down there. There's a bunch of shops and stuff. But like real Moai people. I, do you see that? It's a turtle. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. You see that? Right in front of the camera, right like where she's going with, with her GoPro. It's a real turtle. I hope you saw it. It's so cool. It's huge. Well, actually, it's not that big, but it's at least the size of my torso. people. So as a result of this overpopulation became the warfares uh, between the different tribes. In other words, fighting over land, over food and things like that. And so destroying the Ahu sites and the Moai that belong to their enemy's tribe. So this is Red Soria. This is what they make the pupils and the uh, top knots for the Moai out of. It's actually super, super light. These are the ones I was trying to show you from the road. Flies keep landing on me and it's annoying. Disculpame, por acá se puede ir, no? Sí, se puede bajar. Cuero también? I'm going down to see the front of this big one. It's massive. So there's like one and a bit of one, another one, and a big one, a couple more over there. There's the ocean. Um I believe there are three major volcanoes that make up this island. And from the top, oh look, there's tons of them. Sorry. And I saw two of them. There's another hill behind this one that's definitely a volcano. They're definitely like shield volcanoes, not the big ones you see, like the one that just erupted in South Chile. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Look at this. It's flies this thing. They can go anywhere they want. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but see this big rock kind of has a dip? That's actually a Moai. 
if you can if you look really really carefully you can kind of see it's like a forehead right here and then the nose and the mouth it's the biggest one on the island and it hasn't been finished carving yet or probably won't ever be but then this one up there like i said is the biggest one of all and it measures uh, uh, 21 meters long hmm? but it was left still part of the rock Unfinished. So now you can see it right in front of us. This is the really, really big one I just pointed out. So it's like the body and the nose and the stuff. Just the back view of all the ones we've seen already. There are 889 or something on the island in total, she said? 887. 87, huh? Oh. Yes. That's pretty close. This one is big and also not finished, and that one is fairly large and also not finished. You could like have a picnic on top of that one if you were allowed. I don't know, I hope you guys can see that. That's the uh, platform that's on it, like every single postcard down there. If you see a little spots, obviously we're gonna get down there. But uh, it's so awesome, it's so beautiful. And then these ones. Oh, there's a bunch up there. Anyway. Once they were finished, they dug a hole like keep it safe until it was ready to actually be transported to the ocean. So all of these ones were in their holes and then just over time, you know, sand is, and soil filled the holes and so that's why they're in partial station, st 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 partial station, sta sta holy crow tongue work, stages, stages, they're in partial stages of being buried. Where the, the legs are and the bum in the bottom. Uh, this is the crater of Ranaraku, the uh, mine slash. See all the heads are over the And this is the crater of the volcano that created the volcanic stone that they were made of. A little bit of a hike to get up here. There's so many older people in my group. They're all tired out. It's kind of cute. I'm just like, are we there yet? It's hot too, so like if we're a little bit tired, they're dying. This is so beautiful. Apparently, if you live here, you can come in here no problem. And like, you can bring your dog hiking and stuff, and you know where I'd be if I was here. This is so pretty. I think I would just live here if I was on this island all the time. See, that horse knows where the good stuff is. All the good grass. Look how it is sprinkling in the lake. Yeah, it's, it's raining a little bit, but look. You go up this trail, and yeah, it's like Moai all the way along it. Oh yeah, they come here all the time. That's so cool. 
Ahu Tan Hariki. Like I said, uh, that other girl, the, the one from uh, Northern Europe, is in agreement with me that we both want to come back here for sunrise. So we're going to try to get back here from sunrise. I'm going to try and set something up. We're going to add each other on Facebook so that hopefully we can come back. Because I feel like this would be amazing for sunrise. It's so gorgeous. of the stone. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, tepito means the belly bottom. The belly bottom, tepito. Now, this stone, according to oral tradition, had the mana. Remember the mana? Yes. yes. The supernatural power or mystical power that they believed in ancient times. It had the mana for healing the pains of the body. And that was done by touching the stone with both your hands, your forehead against the stone in order to get the mana from the stone onto your body for healing. Okay, so we're at Anakana Beach and it says, according to the island's oral history, Anakana or Hangarau is the place where the founding king of rather Rapa Nui people, Hotumatua, first set foot on the island. Anakana is therefore the cradle of Easter Island's history and culture and archaeological studies that confirm the extensive occupation of the site for about 1280. This whole vicinity is a dense archaeological area which not only contains important ceremonial centers above and below the ground, but also has other vestiges of great importance for understanding the island's past. So here are the beachheads with their top knots. Guys, do you see that? There's a fish right there. Once you get past where the waves break, it's super, super smooth and it's so clear, so warm, so pretty. I love it. I'm having a great day. This is so fun. And I'm definitely going swimming for the rest of the day. And I look at this place. It's so beautiful. The beach and the boy. Material. Postcard material. I've gotta keep my arms up. Can I get the camera wet? Because I packed I packed the waterproof case in my big luggage thinking I wouldn't need it. I don't know why I did that. That was stupid of me. But this is so nice. I love it. I'm so happy. This is so fun. People snorkeling. I might rent some snorkel here for the evening. That could be super fun. It's so clear. So pretty. It's so warm. I'm having a great day.